Hi guys, good morning. Uh, it's again morning here in the Philippines and once again I am here at my uh, duck farm. Uh, this is my incubator and I believe that most of you, especially those of you who have subscribed on my channel, have already known about my videos. Since many of you have asked about the specifications of this incubator, I decided to make another video on the specifications of this incubator. So we will measure the height of this incubator. So I have here a steel tape and we are going to measure height of this incubator is 6 feet. Okay, uh, this is the height, the 6 feet, and then the width. is 4 feet okay this is 4 feet and then the size here is 2 feet okay so I'm going to repeat the height of this incubator is 6 feet the width is 4 feet and the thickness here at the side is 2 feet okay take note that I have four doors and uh, each door here measures 22 and a half inch and 22 and a half inch okay and twen 27 and a half inch so maybe you, you're also interested to know about the the distance between the layers inside so come on, let's let's do it. The distance between the layers is two point seven inch. So you will take note that I have 10 layers and the bottom of this is reserved for the electric fan, the lamp, and the thermostat. Many have asked me, do we need water for humidity? So the answer is it depends. If you are putting the incubator outdoor, meaning outside of your house that is exposed to the wind outside then maybe you, you will not need anymore the water but then if you put this indoor then you need some water so you can just observe if uh, it, it's a case-to-case -case basis the water is case-to-case -case basis for humidity I said I did not use water for humidity but I made a small hole here at the bottom the source of humidity inside so it's an optional you can use water you can if you don't need water then you would just put a small hole here so you, you asked what's the measurement of the egg tray so the length of this egg tray is uh, 43 inches okay and I am using a wood this is uh, 2 inches thickness wood and then 
The width is 20 inches. You will note that at the side of this egg tray, there is an allowance measuring about uh, 2 inches. And beside there, in that side here is also 2 inches. And the other side here is 2 inches allowance. The reason for this is for the heat to go up, passing through the vacant space on three sides. The heat will revolt. So very important that your incubator will, will have a space here. That's one. A space here. And space there. Okay? There's a space there, about two inches distance. So, this is another tutorial, guys, for you really to be able to complete your homemade incubator. And I tell you, this incubator, though it's homemade, has the hatchability of 80 to 90%. Just the same as the commercial incubator. So if you're planning to engage in duck farming, as, I, as what I have said, if you don't have that sufficient capital to purchase the commercial incubator, the digital, then you can start your business and just make like this, as simple as this incubator. So thank you for watching and I hope you will subscribe because I am regularly uploading videos that is very informative as what I have said many of those who have subscribed on my channel have successfully made fabricated their own incubator and they were thankful and I cannot read them all many comments have uh, popped up uh, thanking expressing their gratitude and thanks for this video and many have also asked the specific uh, measurement so that's why I'm doing this video. It's for you guys. Only here at Dexter's World.